Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to solve graphically problem sum based on linear programming problem, or you can also call it as LPP. Okay, so in this, we are going to take up two sums uh, in which one will be based on maximization and the other one will be based on minimization. And we will be solving both the sum using graphical method. Again, a very important topic uh, under the subject operations research for all the TY, BMS, M6 students. Okay, so chalo, let us see how to solve graphically the sum based on maximization and minimization. Okay, now let us see how to solve the sum uh, based on maximization under graphical method under the chapter LPP. Okay, so the question reads out as maximize z or z is equal to 4x1 plus 3x2 subject to constraint 3x1 plus x2 is less than equal to 15 3x plus 4x2 is less than equal to 24 and we have a non-negativity equation that is x1 x2 should be greater than or equal to 0. Now, in order to solve this graphically, okay. The very first thing, just remember the step, how we have to go ahead with the sum, okay? The very first thing that you'll have to do is, number one, first note down the, see, in this there are two equations, okay? This is a graphical sum where we have been given two equations. I'm writing here, 3x1 plus x2. Now, since it's less than, but we'll have to show it as is equal to 15. Okay? After that, create a table. Okay, I'll, I'll take there with the help of a ruler. Okay, we will create a box where we are going to find basically the coordinates. Okay, we are basically trying to find the coordinates. So I'll write here. Yeah, this is kind. This is a kind of a table that you'll have to prepare. So I'll write here x1. This is x2. This is x1, comma, x2. Okay, remember x1 stands for x, x2 stands for y. Okay, so it's an x and y simultaneous equation based. Okay, in the first I will take this 0, in the second I will take this as 0. Now, very simple in the equation, in the equation that is 3x1 plus x2 equals to 15, substitute x1 as 0. If I substitute this x1 as 0, I will get 3 into 0 plus x2 is equals to 15. Therefore, x2, 3 into 0 will be 0. Therefore, x2 is 15. So, I get the x2 ka value as 15. So, this is 0, comma 15. Now, same way, same way, in the same equation, okay, I'll take now x2 as 0. So, I'll get 3x1 okay plus 0 is equals to 15 so we will get 3x1 is equals to 15 therefore x1 will be 15 upon 3 therefore x1 is equals to 5 so i got x1 as 5 so my second point was 5 comma 0 In the same way, now this was for the first equation, okay, first equation ke liye we got the coordinates. Now same way for the second equation, that is 3x1 plus 4x2 is less than equals to 24. So again, I will, we will create uh, the similar kind of a table. Okay, so we'll have x, y and then we'll have, you know, in the same way, in the same way, this is my x1, this is x2, this will be x1, comma x2. I will keep first x1 as 0, then I'll keep x2 as 0. Now, in the equation, in the equation, 3x1 plus 4x2 is equals to 24. Okay, I'll keep that as equal to, okay. So, if I take 3x, x1 as 0, it will be 3 into 0 plus 4x2 is equal to 24. Therefore, x2 will be 24 divided by 4. x2 will become 6. So, that is 0, 6. In the same way, in the same way, if I substitute the value of x2 as 0, 
okay x2 as 0 so i'll get 3x1 is equal to 24 therefore x1 will be 24 divided by 3 therefore x1 will be 8 So this will become 8 comma 0. So very first step whenever you have to solve in graphical method is first get the coordinates of the equations. Next step now we will be plotting it on a graph. Okay. Now uh, if they provide you graph paper in the exam you can solve it on the graph. If not you all have to you all will have to do it on your uh, answer sheet only or in a supplement. Okay, so we have x and y. Now, if you look carefully, uh, we have 0, 15 is the max value here. So, we can take it around, uh, I can take it in 2 2 car range. Mein. So, I'll take 1 centimeter each. Okay, I'm going to take it 2 centimeter each. So I'll take it in two twos. Centimeter will be 1. Centimeter will be 1. But I will be taking 2 2 values in it. Okay, so what I'll do here is uh, this is 0. This will be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Same way here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 16 okay now this is my x-axis that is known as x1 in this sum this is my y-axis which will be known as x2 okay now once we come to the step okay once we come to the step where we have you know made the graphs now it's very simple first thing what we'll have to do is mark the first equation ka coordinates now for the first equation the coordinates are 0 and 15 x is 0 y is 15 so if x is 0 y is 15 so somewhere here my point will be there first point the second is x is 5 and y is 0 so here will be my point once I got those two coordinates okay pass a line passing through it so that's my first line okay same way for the second okay same way for the second one your x is 0 y is 6 so i marked it second x is 8 y is 0 so i have marked that also now i will be passing a you know a line through it now remember this the first line was based on the equation 3x1 plus x2 is equal to 15 the second line was uh, on the basis of the second equation that was 3x1 plus 4x2 is equal to 24. Achha. Now, after marking this, after you know graphically plotting it, now we need to find the maximization here. So remember, under maximization, you have to share. We'll have to find the feasible region. Under maximization, the feasible region will always be the inner part. In minimization sum, it will always be the outer part. Since it is maximization, the inner part will be your feasible region. Okay, so we have marked it. So now, which are the points which are touching this feasible region? So I have this 6. I have this point where the lines are intersecting and I have this 0, 0. Okay, now, if you have a graph paper, you can exactly get the values of, you know, accurately get the values of your plot. But always to be on a safer side. Okay, now. See, this coordinate is 0, 6, this is 5, 0, this is 0, 0, but we need to find the intersecting point of these two lines. So, for that, what we'll do, we will solve the equation simultaneously. So, 3x1 plus x2 is equals to 15, my first equation. Second, 3x1 plus 4x2 is equals to 24, that's my second equation. Now, I can cut off this, so I'll write subtracting the equation if I subtract this gets cancelled off so I'll have uh, you know uh, 1 x 1 x 2 minus 4 x 2 will give you negative 3 x 2 is equal to negative 24 negative uh, negative 24 and 15 when you subtract it okay so I'll write 24 minus 15 that is negative 9 so therefore x 2 
विल बी माइनस माइनस गेट कट नाइन डिवाइड बाई थ्री विल बी थ्री My x2 ka value is 3. I'll substitute that in any of the equation. So if I substitute in the first equation, I will get it as 3x1 plus x2. X2 is 3. We have got is equal to 15. So 3x1 will be plus 3 when goes to the other side will become minus. So 12. Uh, 15 minus 3 will be 12. Therefore x1 will be 4. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So therefore I get the coordinate x1 comma x2 as X one was four and X two is three. Okay, now once we have got those coordinates, now final step. Now the sum was based on maximization, so it was maximize Z is equals to four X one plus three X two. We are finding the optimal solution. Now name the points of your feasibility. So I'll name this as point A. This is point B. This was point C, and this is point O. Okay, so I have point O where the coordinates are zero comma zero. I have point A where the coordinates are zero comma six. I have point B the coordinates are four comma three, and I have point C where the coordinates are five comma zero. Now we will substitute in this equation. So I have four x one. Plus three x two. This is x one. This is x two. The answer is zero. For the next four into zero plus three into six. Three six is eighteen. Next four into four plus three into three. The so four four is sixteen. Plus three three is nine. Okay, so. 16 plus 9 is 25, and lastly 4 into 5 plus 3 into 0, so 4 5 is 20. Now from here the maximum, since it is a maximization sum, the maximum value is 25. Therefore, I'll write uh, that. That's my final answer. So my optimal profit is max. So my optimal profit equals to max Z, which is 25 rupees. At B, where x1 is equal to four and x2 is equals to three. That's my final answer. Okay, so this is how you all had to solve uh, graphically uh, the maximization sum. All of them in maximization, the inner portion gets shaded. Similar sum, if it was given in minimization, the outer portion would have been selected, and then these would have been your uh, your point or your coordinates. Okay. Hello. I hope everyone have understood this sum based on maximization under graphical method. Now we will be taking up uh, sum based on minimization under graphical method. Okay. Okay. Now this sum is based on minimization. If you read the question, minimization z is equal to 4x1 plus 2x2, subject to constraint 3x1 plus x2 is less than uh, you know greater than equal to 27. X1 plus X2 21, X1 plus 2, X2 30. Now, if you look carefully, there are three equations here. We have first equation, second equation, and third equation. So solving will be exactly same. Okay, चलो. So we will start the way how we did maximization. So first, I'll take the first equation. 3X1 plus X2 is equals to 27. Okay. Once we have taken that, now I will make the table. In the exact same way, okay. The way how we solve the first part, exactly same way. Okay, x one, x two, x one comma x two. First x one will be zero. Next x two will be zero. Now what we'll do here? I'll show it here itself only. If I if I take x one as zero, so this goes off. So my x2 का value will become 27. So that my first equation is 0 comma 27. Now if I take x2 as 0, so I'll have 3x1 is equal to 27. So 27 divided by 3 is 9. So my x1 का value will become 9. So 9 comma 0. Okay, we can solve it directly. Once you get a hang of it, you all can do it directly also. Second equation was x1 plus x2 is equals to 21. Again, we'll create a table.
ओके वी हैव एक्स वन वी हैव एक्स टू एंड एक्स वन कॉमा एक्स टू फर्स्ट एक्स वन विल बी जीरो नेक्स्ट एक्स टू विल बी जीरो नाउ इफ आई गिव एक्स वन एज जीरो एक्स टू इज ट्वेंटी वन तो इट इज जीरो कॉमा ट्वेंटी वन इफ आई गिव एक्स टू एज जीरो माई एक्स वन विल बिकम ट्वेंटी वन सो इट विल बी ट्वेंटी वन कॉमा जीरो थर्ड वी हैव एक्स वन प्लस टू एक्स टू इज इक्वल टू थर्टी so again we will make the table so i have x1 x2 x1 comma x2 0 0 so again if your x1 is 0 it will become 30 divided by 2 so i'll get x2 as 15 so 0 comma 15 If my x two is zero, x one is thirty, so thirty comma zero. Okay. First, second, third. All the three equations can be found the coordinates. Now we will solve this graphically. Now x is thirty, so I'm just checking till where can I get that value? Okay. Okay. Hmm. I've made this here. So I'll be just jotting it now. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Still, I have a limitation page. Always take the entire graph, uh, the entire page. Okay, always use the entire page for this. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, since everything is in three times table, we'll go with three times table here. So it will be three, six, nine. 12 15 eighteen twenty one twenty four twenty seven and thirty same way here three six nine twelve fifteen eighteen twenty one twenty four twenty seven and thirty this is my x one this is my x two okay so we will start now uh the first point 0 comma 27 x is 0 y is 27 so that's my first point second 9 comma 0 x is 9 y is 0 so that's my first equation okay so this equation was 3x1 plus x2 is equal to 27 now next 0 comma 21 So this is that point, and twenty one comma zero. So this is the second point. So I'll mark that. That's our second line, basically. Okay, so I'll just note down this. This equation was x one plus x two is equals to twenty one. Third one, when x is zero, y is fifteen, and when x is thirty. Y is zero, so that's my third equation. So I'll just draw a line passing through it. Okay, so we have got a three line. We put, you know, plotted it. Yeah, so I'll just write this equation. This is my third line ka equation. That is, x one plus two x two is equals to thirty. Okay, now. No, 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 no. We have got all the stuff done. Now the sum is based on minimization. Remember, under minimization, your feasible region will always be the outer part of your graph. So now, which are the points which are in the outer part? So I have one. This, this is my second point. This is my third point, and this is my fourth point. So I'll name it. I have point A. I have point B, C, and point D. these four points are there in my outer column 
ओके नाउ पॉइंट ए का वैल्यू इज वेरी सिंपल दैट इज यू नो जीरो कॉमा ट्वेंटी सेवन एंड लास्ट वैल्यू डी इज ऑल्सो सिंपल थर्टी कॉमा जीरो बट आई नीड टू फाइंड बी एंड सी का वैल्यू सो फॉर दैट आई विल हैव टू सॉल्व इट साइमिलटेनियसली ओके दो आई कैन आई कैन कम टू नो इस अराउंड थ्री एंड एटीन बट टू बी श्योर वी विल सॉल्व इट साइमिलटेनियसली पॉइंट बी इज मेड अप ऑफ इक्वेशन द फर्स्ट इक्वेशन विच इज थ्री एक्स वन प्लस एक्स टू इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी सेवन एंड द सेकेंड इक्वेशन विच इज एक्स वन प्लस टू सॉरी प्लस एक्स टू इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी वन सो आई सप्रैक दम इफ आई सप्रैक दिस गोज ऑफ सो इट विल बिकम टू एक्स वन इज इक्वल टू सिक्स एक्स वन इज इक्वल टू थ्री सी दैट आई कुड वी कुड कम टू नो यो कि एक्स वन वॉज कमिंग अराउंड थ्री बट टू बी मोर श्योर ऑन इट ना आई सब्सटीट्यूट थ्री इन द फर्स्ट इक्वेशन So I'll get three into three plus x two is equal to twenty seven. So that is six. Six and goes to the other side. You know it will become uh, three threes are nine. Nine when goes to the other side, it will get subtracted. So it will be twenty seven minus nine. So it will come to eighteen. So my x two ka value will become eighteen. So here x one comma x two is three comma 18. So which we could see here also, it's coming to 3 and 18. So I could have actually got it here. Now this comes around 12 and 9. Just to confirm it. Now this is intersection of the second equation, x1 plus x2 is equals to 21, and the third equation, x1 plus 2x2 is equals to 30. Again, I will subtract it. This goes off. So I'll have negative x2 is equal to negative 9. So when I cut it, I get x2 as 9. So we can see x2 is 9. So I'll substitute now this in the first equation. So x1 plus 9 is equal to 21. So x1 will be 21 minus 9, which will come to 12. So therefore, your x1, x2 was 12 comma 9, which is perfectly matching 12 comma 9. That's it. So now final answer me. My minimization z is equal to 4x1. Plus two x two. Okay. Now here the points are a. The coordinates were zero comma twenty seven. Point B we found already that that is three comma eighteen. C also we have found which was twelve comma nine and D is already given thirty comma zero. That's my D point. Chalo, we'll just substitute now four into zero plus two into twenty seven. So that will be twenty-seven into two fifty-four. Okay, so we'll write this as fifty-four. Now four into three plus two into eighteen. Four threes are twelve. Eighteen three eighteen twos are thirty-six. So thirty-six plus twelve will give you forty-eight. Next four into twelve plus two into nine. Now four twelves are is forty-six plus. Two nines are is eighteen. So when I add up, it comes to sixty-six. Last four into thirty plus two into zero. So four into thirty gives you hundred and twenty. So your your answer, the lowest value, the lowest value which you can see here is now see since the sum is based on minimization, the lowest value is forty-eight. So I'll write here therefore. Now this is minimization, so optimal cost is min z, which is rupees forty eight at B, where x one was three and x two is eighteen. Okay, so this is how you all have to solve the sum based on uh, minimization under graphical method. under the chapter linear programming project or lpp okay so in this we completed both the sum one we took off maximization and the other one we have taken off minimization okay i hope everyone have understood this with that we will be ending this video here thank you